The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Paula Webb at the break. Um, I also should remind you that they've increased the March or the daily trading limits in soybeans, wheat, and corn. Now, I've never seen them do that uh, in a down market, but by golly, they've done that. So we're going to have to pay close attention to that. The range now in beans is a dollar fifteen for one day. 50 cents in corn and I think 60 cents for wheat. This was brought to us by our good friend, Rich Anderson. Uh, folks, I posted a chart up here, the eight minute S&P here. You can see here that we've been in an explosive move ever since last Friday when we hit that uh, lunar eclipse and we've gone basically straight up. Uh, there were only a couple of small uh, 382 patterns that were able to get you along if you were watching for those. Um, there was the first one right here. That was on the Halloween Eve right there at 4167. We had another one over here, uh, which was yesterday, where we had the small ABCD pattern. And, folks, I mean really small. This is only a 15-point move in the E-mini, and then it just keeps going higher and higher. We've exceeded uh, on looking at this here on the daily. You can see here we have blown through all of these numbers that we were looking at in here. See, the last rally that we had, the really big rally, you see, it was that much. And look how much we've already exceeded that. And we did that in five days, folks. This is earmarked for something really big. Now, what I – this is really tough, the trade pattern recognition when you're in a vertical move like this, folks. When things go straight up like this, it's really difficult because you don't really have any pattern in here to work on. Now, you had something right here, this little bit of a pullback today. Uh, it went from 34 – it, it dropped 20 handles. This one here dropped 15 handles. Let's just check and see here from the early morning low that we had down here, 43.25. Let's see if that happened to be a 3.82. Oh, dear. It happened to be a 3.82, so that was something to pay uh, close attention to. However, there are other markets that are going on pretty good. We've got one working right now. And I wanted to uh, give it to your attention. Well, there's two of them. We'll show you the first one because we did alert you to this one. This was also a very nice one. This was the, uh, the the gold market. You'll remember we were looking for the market to come up here to the 78% level. We came right down uh, early this morning and then boom, right up to it at 10. Uh, the stop was the 13. So those are kind of you can stay there for almost an hour. Uh, well, half hour anyway, right at that level. And now it's backed off. The little re re retracement we had was uh, just about 50%. So uh, what we've done now is we put our stop in to lock in a $200 profit on that, and then we're going to see if it's going to be any good. Now, we've got one other one here, folks, that's really interesting. And hold on, let me get up here. Oh, oh we we got two interesting ones. Let's just get up here for a second and take a look at the euro because we just rang the bell over here in the euro just a few minutes ago. We'll get this up here. You see here, we were waiting for this uh, ABCD pattern to occur. We are there right now, boys and girls. There it is right now, 107387. This is where we're taking a look at it here. Stop's got to be up here about 40 pips, but that is an ABCD. It's taken a month to make it, folks, from October the 6th, November the 3rd. It's taken a whole month to make this ABCD, but if you like ABCDs, and we do, you've got to, you've got to look at this. This is really an interesting one. you notice the 382 is just right above here. That's the 382 off of the long-term puppy going way, way back here. You see? There's your number right here. Here's what we're looking at right there. So all we're going to do now is we're going to just just take it out here so we can review it again. From your high that we made way back here on July the uh, 16th, we came down and we made our low on October the 6th. And then we're rallying up today, and we are within 
Well, you, you see, we're right there right now. Uh, this is where you got a, uh, the actual number for the 382. Let's just make sure we see it clearly. Why didn't it draw in? Hello, Larry. Let's try it again. From your high down to your low. Oh, I know why, because it covers right over the 50% level. They're both coming in at the same time. 50% of this and 382 of the whole thing. And that comes in here, folks, at... We're, uh, we're actually t- uh, 15 pips away, 107. The ABCD is 107.37, okay? And the 382 is just a little bit higher up there at 57. So you've got about another 10 pips to go up here to 107, uh, say 107.52 with a stop at 107.82. You risk 300 bucks. But there was a real nice ABCD right here at the 78% here level yesterday. And that was right at Fed time, and now we're getting another run up into this area uh, right here. Uh, I've been asked to take a look at the uh, Treasury bonds, and again, <laughs> that's one that uh, literally is a uh, had everything going for it except that it didn't work. And let's move it on here. We'll get up to the four-hour chart. Uh, someone says they can't see my chart, so let me double check here. See if. Uh, I don't know if they can see my charts or not, but I hope they are. Let me get this up here. Uh, let me get this bond one redone, and then I'll re- redo the uh, – here's the here's the picture in the bonds. There's where we were yesterday, folks. There's where we wanted to play the game, and the game took us out. You see, we, we stayed here for a while, and then we went above here. This was a small uh, – Small loss for most, a larger loss for me because I didn't put my stop in properly and end up losing more ticks than I wanted to. But we've gone up and we've taken out the highs of October already, which is a pretty positive sign. Uh, I still think this is nothing more than a rally in a bear market. Remember, folks, we've already rallied seven handles. We were sort of expecting this. Get this up here and take a look at it. Our number was 107.04, and we got to 107.03. And uh, you can see where we are right now. So that's it. No one can see the charts, TFNN, so what do I do now? Let me try it one more time. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Right, here, let me try it again. Let me get the charts up, and I'll try to do the uh, screen window again. And hopefully we'll get this up here. You'll be able to see it. Tell me you can see the uh, – hold on one second, and I'll get the uh, thing up here. All right, there's where we are in the bond, so we should get a, we should get at least a rally, like we said before, at least a rally that could be just like this. We could get all the way up here to 24, 25. So this was one that was coming off the bottom, and uh, a little frustrating when you get the bottom and you don't buy the bottom. I mean, that's uh, tried to buy it but didn't get filled. Anyway, that's the name of the game. Sometimes you have chicken salad other times you have chicken poop it depends on how you mix it all right that's what we're watching here in the euro pay real close attention folks as we're in the ballpark with that euro there's a few pips where we want to be sold so we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're back, folks, and I believe we have Michael from uh, Toronto on the line. Michael, are you there? Yeah, hi. Thanks for taking my call. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, I want to look at the, the NASDAQ 100, and others have coined it the NASDAQ 10, the Magnificent 7. Yes. Um, I, I'm just wondering, um, do you see another swoosh down at all? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the calendar for November, and you've got the, a government shutdown deadline looming. I think it's on the 17th. And then you've got the IRS tax deadline. It got kicked down the road to the 16th. In California, because of the forest fires and stuff, they they, you know, maybe maybe just maybe uh, traders have to you know sell their 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 Nasdaq 100 stocks to pay the bills. Well, Mike, they might do that, but by golly, let me tell you, when you get a market that runs six days like this one is run, you got to respect it. I know we're yeah. looking at a one three five pattern. I posted it in the room, yeah. and we're right up yeah. against it right now. But frankly, you know. To see a move that exploded like that, you got to be, you got to respect it. I mean, right here, if you want to sell the Nasdaq, this is it right now. I mean, uh, the high is okay. been uh, fifteen thousand one ninety four. We're trading at fifteen thousand one seventy five. I'd have a stop at sixteen thousand two hundred six, and only risk about twenty points on it. But it either stops right here. Or the lady that plays in the orchestra is going to play a lot longer. So just be really careful. You got to respect this much power coming out of here, my friend. What's your What's your downside target? <laughs> I hope I hope for a down kick. <laughs> I don't have any downside targets at all. If this happens to be a high, which I'm not sure that it is. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful seven eight six one three five pattern. But, uh, frankly, yeah. you know, you've got two and a half hours to go on a Friday. Anybody who wants to sell it up in here on a Friday in an up week after five days like that, they have to know something that is more important than uh, most people think about. So I'd have to pass on that. I, I just, if it okay. gets about 15,200, you want I'm to be a, in I'm it. A mega bear. I'm a mega bear, and I was looking for Black Monday. Well, Michael, I'll tell you this. I, was, I was looking for it because normally you have big dumps from oversold conditions, okay? And Thursday and Friday were oversold. Now, I'm just wondering, there, there was Mideast violence over the weekend. How come it didn't react that way? 
Well, because the market was bullish, you could see what happened. When when bad news doesn't make the market go down, it only has one place to go, and that's up. And that's exactly what it did. So well, I was expecting a big rally, but I wasn't expecting this much of a rally. So uh-huh. I hope that makes sense. You, so you don't you don't think that so you think the Mid East uh, turmoil has been factored in by the market? Probably yes, uh-huh. just like the Ukrainian war was, the war with Russia and Ukraine. That's nobody even watches that on TV anymore. I mean, it's yeah, just uh, yeah. it's changed, you know. So if yeah. if there's a ceasefire in Ukraine, okay, or or somehow um, you wake up in the morning and and everything is hunky dory in the Middle East, I mean, what's the upside target for Nasdaq? You could easily see 17,000 in it. That's 2,000 points higher than where it is. We could take out the July high without even batting an eye. Really? And and yeah. looking at 5,000 in the S&P? I think we could make 4,800 in the S&P without any trouble at all because the way we came out of here was very, very powerful. And all the cycles yeah. are pointing up until mid-June, mid-January. Stan Harley pointed that out to us yesterday around a high coming in around January 16th. So... I prefer, I mean, I trade it from a short side. I mean, I just sold it NASDAQ just because of that one three five pattern, the 786, and only have to risk $400. So that's the only reason I did it is because of that. But, you know, for a long-term prediction, <laughs> my long-term prediction only lasts for another 15 minutes, my friends. You just got to be careful. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So you think it's been factored in, then the mid the Mid-East turmoil, oh, yeah. right? But, they have, but Congress, the Congress hasn't settled the debt. Like, they haven't settled this, <laughs> this government shutdown dilemma, okay? Michael, so, I mean, Michael, if you start thinking about what U.S. politicians are doing, my friend, I suggest you get your resumes out because you ain't going to be able to trade listening to that stuff. You know, they can't they can't decide on whether it's Monday or Tuesday when it's Thursday or Friday. So I... I pay zero attention to what they're doing. I just look at the charts. Looking at this chart tells me to sell the NASDAQ right here, which I did, and then we're going to see if it's any good or not. I don't know. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. My pleasure, Mike. Thank you for calling in. Okay, folks, that was the NASDAQ. Here's what I was looking at. There's the exact 78% level of the high that we made right back here, 61% of this high right here. The high today was 94 uh, 78 was the number we were looking at. It's now trading at 61. I'll put my stop at uh, 15,178 right now. So I'm in a risk-free trade, and I don't have to worry about it anymore because I'm tired of worrying. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today. So let's move on here to a couple others that someone's asked a question about is Apple because Apple came very close within a half a dollar of their big – Price objective down there at that 164. got to 165. There's our Apple. We'll get it up here so we'll be able to see it without too much. Oh, my goodness. It was actually, oh, it was down because of the earnings. This is a good one today. That's a good thing to look at. All right, we got a, we've got a nice move in Apple, okay? Pretty good move. What is our rule? What is our rule now after we miss something like this? Johnny's got his little placard card that says, buy the first 382 retracement. So, Here's what we've done in Apple here over the last few days. We're going to get the old hourly chart up, and you can see here we we went all the way up here. Let's get up here. You can see we rallied all the way up to the 78% level yesterday. The day's low. You bring it in right here, and where does it go to? To the old 61% retracement, and now we're already $6 above that. That looks like we could make an easy A, B, C, D up in here if this doesn't stop right here. So the interesting one here to take a look at in Apple. Folks, this market, you know, I don't know. First of all, when you see a market like the S&P that went straight up like it did, that is an outlier event, folks. I've been trading the S&P since April the 16th of 1982 when we first started trading. There were four or five people in the put. In the, in the pit, they were, the S&P uh, cash was trading for 103. The futures were trading for like 102 and a half. I mean, that 102, not, not 2,600 or anything like that, or 4,300, whatever it is. It was trading at 102. So, and it didn't do any trading until, you know, in, in, in 83, when it uh, broke out, uh, I think it was March or April 
of 1983 when the Dow broke above a thousand for the final time on its way to, you know, to 4,500 or whatever the high happened to be here in this last run. So those are the ones that we're sort of paying attention to here. Okay. So I hope that makes sense, but uh, the market will correct. Just got to be ready for it and watch for the three, eight twos and watch for the ABCDs. Those are the things that get you to the promised land and that's where you want to be. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's my uh, theory, and I'm sticking to it. Hold on one second here. I lost my... Uh... Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I believe we have Paula Webb on the line. Paula, are you there? I'm here. Paula, we've got a caller calling in from Vincent, Indiana. His name is Grayson Pinehurst. Grayson, are you there? Yeah, Larry, I'm here. Is Miss Paula there? I'm here, Grayson. How you doing? I'm doing fine. My problem is I write a little newsletter from friends and family here. And this past week, I wrote a special report about how high the stock market was going to go this week. 
But the problem was I didn't give a specific buy signal. I just said it was going to go up, and they start throwing vegetables at me. They throw me enough rotten eggs I can make 26 Denver omelets. So what should I do in a situation when you try to apologize for people when you miss something? Well, uh, Grayson, first of all, having an opinion about market direction was your first mistake. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if you've read our books, you will know that anything can happen at any given moment in the markets. Yeah, I know. Folks, this is actually... This is not Grace and Pinehurst. It's me. I was trying to be funny. But I've had more frustration this week, as Paula knows, because I, know. I was so bullish coming in Monday. And to one. not get one. any of it is just, uh, and not only that, I gave a little bit of it back. So anyway, I have to tell the folks that I go through these things just like everybody does at times. Unfortunately, they're not very often, but I had the blessing of working with Mark Douglas here for a period of about six years from 96 to 02. And uh, he certainly uh, schooled me on forget your profits and forget your losses faster and just move on. And boy, it's difficult when you miss something this big PT. I'll tell you, I've been, uh, been fighting the frustration all week long, Monday through today. So I think I'm over it, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, it happens to everybody, Larry. I mean, you know, same here. We're, we're human. You know, we're, yeah. I mean, we're really good at what we do, but there are just some times when, you know, the markets don't cooperate, <laughs> for lack of yeah, a better word. And, you know, you we know, do I... our analysis and <laughs> think everything's hunky-dory, and then it just doesn't work. So yeah, when, when any that's... trader has those days, including myself, you know, I'll yeah. just get out and kind of, you know, put a Band-Aid on it and, um, you know, just just reassess for the next day. But yeah. even sometimes I even take the next day off until I get my mind right again. And I that's tried that. usually pretty helpful. I tried that. But they're, they're saying, why don't you take off till March 19th? And I said, I, I still got to work for a living, so I got to come back to work. The question <laughs> I that I, uh, I, I wanted to I know, you, same remember, here. <laughs> you will remember this. We've had some, Mark had some famous traders come through here. And the one thing that they all had in common of all the four fears was the fear of missing out. And boy, yeah. I re- boy, I can really respect that this week as I watched it. Sunday night all the way through today and stuff, and I came close to trying to buy it, but I had no reason to buy it. So I said, well, I just got to put this one in the lunchbox and not worry too much about it. So, I Well, just you know, to- given, given what's going on in the world and, and even our yeah. own country, you know, times are squirrely. And so it's it's very difficult. I mean, we all we all kind of want to rush and make a bunch of money yeah. for for tomorrow. And so it's it it just happens to all of us at times. So yeah. we just have to learn to navigate the uncertainty of the markets as well as the yeah. uncertainty of our world. And that's obviously where I come in to help And you traders. certainly helped me again. Once again, I appreciate it because you told me to take it easy in which I've done and I've uh, actually relaxed a little bit. I did a couple of small trades today that worked pretty good, but I said, well, I know one thing for sure, PT, things that go straight up have a tendency to making some type of correction. So. When we've had a move like this for five straight days, I think, wow, I said I have to at least maybe take a look at it uh, Sunday or Monday that we might get a correction. But, again, you know, I'm a short-term trader, and that's what I have to uh, focus on. So, And both, oh, exactly. both, I, was, I was joking about the rotten eggs and the, uh, the vegetables. There were a few death threats, but I didn't take them seriously, so it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're, you're a pretty funny guy, Larry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You have to laugh at this business. Otherwise, you're going to go. That's the one thing I loved about Mark was his sense of humor. It was dry, but, God, he was good at it. That's for sure. And yeah, he, he had was. someone to help him along the way, and that was you, PT. You've done a great job carrying the baton. That's, that's absolutely for sure. Hey, I Anything wanted to say like uh, to- thank you. Uh, you know, I've got a workshop coming up in first weekend in November or second weekend, mm-hmm. and a Good. couple of your listeners are coming. So thank you, you to tell all us, of your us, listeners and you know, supporting my that. work and, they- and Larry's work. And, you know, I yeah. really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to meeting them. Okay. How do they, how do they reach you, uh, PT? And when, it, when is it uh, in November? Uh, it's November 10 and 11. 
Um, okay. And, uh, you know, they can just go to the website, markdouglas.com or instituteoftradingpsychology.com. Okay. Either one will will reach me. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, we've got that one sold out, but we've got other dates coming up. Uh, the new website's going to be up in about two weeks. A newer, I mean, I have a website up, but it'll be a, looking new and sparkly and really uh, spiffy. And so all the, the other workshop dates will be on that website. So, um, Okay, well, okay. Do, do me a favor, PT. When you're ready to launch it, please call me and we'll uh, set you up for a interview here to put post it so the folks can see where to reach you and everything and uh, get uh, logged on right away. Because I imagine you have all the social media skills that uh, people like to have. Yeah, I I don't I'm not I'm not that proficient at it. So yeah, well, I have a computer now. Finally, after all these years, that's pretty good. <laughs> no more charting by hand. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> oh God, I left that. I don't know what I do now with all these things they've got out here. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, sweetie. We'll have you on again soon. So let me know when that website's ready to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Super. Well, thanks again. Take care. It's all, all my pleasure, dear. So we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay, happy trading, everybody. Okay, all right, let's move on here, folks. I brought that to your attention, folks, is just to show you that uh, we go through the same things that everybody else goes through. The trouble is you got to shake them off and make it pretty easy. Let's get up here to talk one that we were looking at yesterday, which was the crude oil. Get this up here. If you remember, folks, we were looking at that crude oil up there. Hello, operator, where it was, right up in here. This is where we were looking at at 82.69. Uh, uh, stop would have been right above this level right here. It didn't quite get there. 89 was the number, and we didn't get filled. It, it made a little money on it, but look what's happened today, folks. We've had an ABC formula right now. If you like the crude oil, just a minute there, Mr. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I have... Uh, I've been sleeping more than I have in a couple of years, the last couple of nights, mainly because I didn't have any trades on. I think that's the reason. But anyway, we shorted some gold today, which is working pretty good. Anyway, you'll notice here, uh, this is the ABC coming down here at 79.77 here, uh, and it, we're trading at 80.30. And what you want to do is you want to go to an hourly chart to make sure, well, yeah, hourly will certainly do it. You want to see if there's any other, uh-oh, see it's breaking out of some serious... Uh, making serious stop placement in here now folks you see here's where we uh we're breaking down pretty seriously get up here to take a look at this again this is where we are and we'll be right back 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine pepper You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, here is the uh, picture of the the uh, crude oil now if you if you have any bullish berries or have no uh, opinion or not it doesn't make any difference but this is an abcd pattern that is forming right here uh there's the well just a second here ah not good not good hold on a second here then when I finish this, I have to cover cattle. Ah, oh, this darn thing. Problem is, folks, uh, with this is a little more difficult because I can't get it to line up perfectly. There we should do it, be able to, there we go, right here. We should come down here to 70, uh, 88. It's, we're a little bit lower, about 40 pips. Put the beeper in right here. We should get to that level uh, right here. Now, remember, this is just an eight-minute chart, but it's still an ABCD pattern. And we've taken out all of the stops down in here now you see the last stop here was at uh, uh 80 this was at uh 80 uh 22 so we've taken all of these stops out so there's not a lot of stops going on in here so buying it here is not a bad idea if you're bullish crude oil i'm not necessarily bullish crude oil but if we look at this on an hourly you can see we're breaking down here pretty good and i don't want to risk that because look what you're look at possibly looking at folks a, B, C, D. It's going to stop right here, or it's getting ready to, to pop up. Now, the fact that we've taken all these stops out uh, could be a very, very positive sign because it hasn't collapsed from that level. You see, this low was at uh, was at 22, and our low so far today has been 14. We're trading at 20. So, and we have that A, B, C, D that's in here on that smaller time frame. So, looking at short-term patterns, that's what I'm paying attention to. You know, give you a rough idea of what we're looking at. Let's take a look at that uh, Euro trade that we're looking at. It started to move a little bit in our direction. It got up to that level we wanted to, which was at 50. We got as high as high. We get 53, uh, 52, and uh, now we're backing off. But as long as we don't get above 107.70 in that S, uh, uh, Euro, then I think it's got a chance here. Uh, for a move down just based on that uh, A, B, C, D that uh, we've been talking about uh, right in here. This is it. A, B, C, D, that's it right up here. So just another one like any others, folks. That's all you can do. Nothing else, uh, nothing less. Okay, let's uh, talk a little bit about next week. We're going to have uh, Jim Bartoleone as our guest. We're also going to have uh, Joe DiNapoli as our guest. And we have... Norm Winsky as our guest on Monday. He will be our guest on Monday to kick off the old astrology stuff. Uh, regarding the uh, letter that I wrote last week about that uh, compiled Bradley model that Shane and I have been working on that we got from Alfie Lavoie, uh, we're going to be looking at that. It's been doing very, very well. Whenever a market explodes out of here like this one has, folks, that is an outlier event in, in the S&P. And it all started when we went above 40 to 47, when the Fed was speaking. It went from 42.47, we went down to 42.23, 
And from 42.23, we're going to win 100 handles higher in two days. And that is powerful buying, folks. I mean, you just can't uh, you can't stand in front of the old freight train uh, looking at that right now. So that's that's what we're paying attention to as we're looking at these things here uh, unfold here today. So I hope that hope that helps give you a rough idea of uh, what's going on here. Okay. That, but again, that's my opinion, and I am sticking to it. I. I, you know, I don't care where the market goes. What bothers me is when I have it predicted correctly and not get in because it's right on the eclipse on Friday the 27th. I mean, and I waited until Monday morning, Sunday morning, and when the news was so bearish coming out of the Far East or Middle East and the market couldn't go down, I said, oh, my God, just buy it somewhere. And I said, look to buy a 382 retracement. That didn't happen till Tuesday in the middle of the night that we pointed out here on the road uh, or on the show here yesterday, but I missed it, and that's it. But not only that is that I had a couple of bond trades in between because the bond trade looked like it was the best of all, and here again, that one didn't work either, but that's <laughs> that's trading, folks. You can't do a darn thing about that. You know, I, I wish I could, but I get frustrated when I see it so perfectly and just not get the darn thing right, you know. That's uh, and you know, it's not all about making money. It's about how much money you don't lose. So, you know, I, I would feel a lot worse if I was short, as it was going straight up, which those those I don't have to worry about are long going straight down. I already know how to handle that. I've given enough money away during that time to take a look at it. Someone's asked here to take a look at that Nasdaq if I can find it here somewhere. I got too many things here. Let me get this. Uh, uh, vertical. It's got to be here. So here it is right here. All right. Here's the NASDAQ, what we're looking at. And we'll get it up here and see. Here's what we're, there's your 78%. Get this out of the way. There's your 78% level. That came in at the high was 94. The level that you were looking for was 84. We're now trading at 67. See, if you go down to a smaller time frame, you're going to see there was the, there was your, there was your level right up here that you want to be looking at it. 151.84, the high was 94, so here's where we are, you know, right now. Now, just looking at this from the devil's advocate with the old 382 taking our early morning low here, and we'll run up, we'll see if there's a 382, misses this 382 by uh, two points. Okay, we go up and make a higher high, so we'll see what it does from here. There's your low here. There's your higher high right here. This one goes through the 3A2 and comes right down uh, to the 50% level. But looking at this on the mini micro machine, you can see we have a little A, B, C, D pattern uh, right here coming in right now, or that happened back here at this level. But there was your 3A2. Hit it once, went up, came back down. Again, folks, these are these are big moves. You're going from uh, 71. That's a that's a $400 move in a matter of seconds. In, well, in, in four or five minutes. So that's what you're. That's what you're watching. That's why when you're trading the Nasdaq, you've got to tra you've got to give it at least a forty or fifty point handle because of the fact that it's so uh, so very difficult to uh, you know to finally uh, you know line the darn thing up. So anyway, that's what I'd be watching here uh, on this. So um, if uh, you know this market's doing very little, I frankly think. You know what I did, I have my stop at break even now, which is one fifteen thousand one eighty four. It gets there, I'm out break even. Don't want to worry about it. It's a Friday, and that's what uh, that's what I'm paying attention to. So I I hope that gives you some idea of uh, what we're looking at here. I think we've got a, a break coming up here shortly in about one minute. Someone else asked me a question here about Tesla. Let's get this up here. And we'll take a quick look at it, see if we get Tesla up here without too much trouble. Uh, we're having real good uh, turnout, folks, for the show on the 15th of November. So try to get your uh, cards and letters in because it's going to be a doozy. But it's going to do a lot of trading, a little bit of teaching, but they're going to do a whole lot of trading. Now, here's Tesla. You see we had a big up move. Uh, we're moving down towards the lower end of the day right now. But this is what we've done here the last days. Now, this is a key point, so let's take a quick look at it. And then we'll be right back and talk about it.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We we're back, folks. We're talking with Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida. Jim, how are you doing? Pretty good, Larry. Um, I caught that crud that you had a couple weeks ago, but I'm, I'm recovering. <laughs> um, quickly, when you started the show, you pulled up the bonds, but the chart wasn't there. And uh -huh. um, I wanted to look, you would look like at the bonds to, You now. would like to see that? Okay, I can do that. Just one second here with a little bit of luck. I, I see a quick, it was kind of interesting, to the tick. Of the, AB, the bonds are failing this afternoon. I mean, we, we're down a, over a point from the high, and yeah. it looks like we, we had – can't get above and hold above that 114.10, which was a high a couple uh -huh. weeks ago. Well, I agree with you, but, you know, it's very emotional. The fact that we had this big move in stocks, that pulled the bonds up. So uh, the old adage is what goes up must come down, but it might not come down when we want it to. So I'm just being real careful up in here. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't do anything over the weekend. I, I happen to be short a little gold to break even, but... Uh, and I'm short the euro now, but that that's basically you know easy, easily traded once. But the the bonds went a lot higher. I didn't think they was going to get higher than 112.26, and they went a point and a half higher than that. So I'm waiting to see what the next uh, situation is going to be. But right now, I just have to stand aside. I, I didn't think we see that much movement. The 114.27 is a high. The 113.27, you caught that A B C D, and it hit. It, it got down to, to the 113.21 exactly. I'm. I I bought yep. TBT calls and and I'm gonna I'm you can't hold those over the weekend or overnight because you get the gap either way. 
And I'm going to close I agree with you just because of the fact that we had this, you know, very emotional move in stocks, and this ending happens to change. It'll be emotional on the downside, so you got to be ready for it. Okay. Um, you, so you'll be looking at your charts Sunday to see. Oh yes, I'll be doing do my videos and everything. Get him out. I didn't do a video last night. I did one this morning because I was just too tired last night. Not physically tired, emotionally tired. <laughs> but I'm doing well, have a great hey, weekend. Thanks for calling in, Jim. Rest up, get some sleep. I will. With Norm Whiskey on okay. Monday, folks, with every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>